We're conducting a full-scale exercise involving a hazardous material incident that occurs at an outdoor special event with a large uh, crowd of people. Uh, and that requires the response of local uh, emergency responders from the city of Oklahoma City and then requires uh, an interface uh, with the 63rd Civil Support Team. If this was a, a real-world, uh, large-scale public uh, event, um, we would likely have engaged the 63rd Civil Support Team to be part of our public safety and security operations uh, and would work underneath our weapons of mass destruction group. They bring uh, to the table capabilities that we don't have, uh, especially with regards to um, analyzing the environment and identifying uh, the type of hazardous material we might deal with, as well as being subject matter experts who can guide us on, on what we should do or not do. Usually we get notified of a hazard, we activate our QRF team, our QRF team and partners with the police, bomb squad and fire, will assess the situation, identify the hazard, mitigate it, and then turn the scene back over to the uh, agency in charge. Full-scale exercises provide a, an opportunity to evaluate your plans, your policies, your procedures. Uh, you can put something in writing, but until you actually do it, you don't know how well it's going to work. So this is an opportunity to see in a, a controlled, simulated environment how well our plans and standard operating procedures would work. 